Good day, I'm Noctula Lamini with your Midday Bulletin. Jiba Cross examined at Mokoro inquiry. Khadebe denies conflict of interest in Motsepe's involvement IPPS project. City of Tswane terminates Dead Africa contract. Deputy Prosecution's boss Nomno Bojiba is being cross-examined at the Mohoro Inquiry after presenting her evidence in chief last week. Her role in the J.K. Silebi and Johan Boyson's cases will come under the spotlight. After facing difficult questions which exposed possible misconduct, Jiba was asked how it came to be that she cooperated with former head of crime intelligence Richard Mkluli in the plot to derail prosecution of former National Police Commissioner J.K. Silebi. She also has to explain on what grounds she authorized recurring charges against former KwaZulu Natal Hawks head Johan Boysens, considering that all the facts weren't presented to her at the time. The cross examination is set for one day. Energy Minister Jeff Khadebe says there is no conflict of interest in his brother in law Petrus Motibu's involvement in the Department Renewable Energy Independent Power Producers Project. This is after unions made claims that President Cyril Maposa's decision to unbundle ESCOM would benefit Motsebe's firm African Rainbow Energy and Power. Both Khadebe and Ramaposa are Motsebe's brother-in-law. Last week, Motsebe denied a conflict saying when the deals were finalized, both the minister and the president did not occupy their current offices. Head of IWPS office in the department, Karen Breitenberg, says that the claims of a conflict are unfair people are welcome to come and look at how they have documented step by step. Tswane Mayor Stevens Mukhalapa has announced that the city has terminated its controversial 12 billion contract with Glad Africa. More than 300 million has already been paid to the company. Mukhalapa says that the contract will come to an end in June. His spokesperson Sam Mkobozi says MPAC, which is a statutory body of council will look into the execution of the contract as well as other irregular expenditure that has been found by the Auditor General. Last month, an Auditor General report revealed the contract with the built environment consultancy firm was not above board. Let's have a look at your sports updates with Tato Hatsing Charlie. Good day, I'm Tatwa Simjali with your sports news. Starting with your soccer news, South Africa's under-20 have been drawn in a tough group if at the 2019 FIFA Under-20 World Cup in Poland and will have to contest with Portugal, Argentina and South Korea in their pool. Portugal are the current European champions and have players in the English Premier League and Spanish La Liga. Amadou double opened their campaign against Argentina in Tietje on May 25th before a clash against South Korea at the same venue three days later. And in your world of cricket, another key player expected to be back in the ODI is JP Dumini. After he suffered a shoulder injury, he has not played for the pro tier since last year. Sri Lanka is the first subcontinent country to beat South Africa at home. The pro tiers will play their last test match against Sri Lanka after losing the series already by 2-0. And lastly, Lions captain Warren Whitley has a fitness concern injury following Saturday's loss to the Stormers in Cape Town. The 31-year-old left the field shortly before halftime on Saturday and did not return as the Stormers secured a loss gap of 19-17 to win over their visitors. The Lions are next in action when they host the Bulls at Loftus on Saturday. That's all we have from the Sports Desk. Now to traffic and weather updates. Taking a look at your traffic at this hour, traffic lights are not working at Peter Road in Honeydew, Bears Nodier Drive. There is an accident after the William Nickel Drive exit. Expect queuing traffic in four ways on the N1 Road. There is a stationary vehicle before Collet Drive in Melrose on the M1 Road. And in Midrand on the N1, Left lane blocked due to stationary truck before the Bucklew interchange. Taking a look at your weather, in Johannesburg it is partly cloudy at a minimum of 14 and a maximum of 25 degrees Celsius. And in Pretoria it is very hot at a minimum of 16 and a maximum of 29 degrees Celsius. Back to you, Noctul. That's it from me and the Jobic TV News team. Goodbye. <laughs>